Alrighty, welcome back to this Chicago Bulls Miami Bay franchise. Last time we left off, we finished the playoffs and the off. No, I'm sorry, we finished the off season. The episode before that was the playoffs. You missed any of those? As always, uh, the last episode, most recent, will be up in the top right. I do not have a playlist for this series. I realized. Um, so if I, I probably will put them all on a playlist. If I do, it'll also be in the top right, maybe the description. But this is what the team looks like. 34-year-old Kawhi Leonard. Uh, he did regress down to a 90. Um, and he's not playing so well this season. I, I do think we are stuck with him for his contract. Like, I don't think we can get rid of him. Because I'm trying to do this semi-realistic. Uh, Lewis Ward has been amazing to start off this season. Trey Murphy has been solid. Our team's looking very solid. But we are only 4-3. and three, So, this episode, we're going to simulate um, to like the halfway point, the trade deadline. And we'll probably make some trades. If you don't know the way I do these episodes is uh, one episode will be half the season up until the trade deadline where we make moves. And then the next episode will be the second half of the season and the playoffs if we make it. And then after that, we do a full offseason video and the cycle continues. So let's start simulating. We are going to simulate. Do we have a Christmas game? We do. We have a, we're going to simulate up until this Christmas game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And also, we're actually on a pretty solid win streak. If we end up winning the in-season tournament, like... I think this Raptors game, if we win, oh my god, yeah, we're in, okay, let's hold on now, we are in the in-season tournament playoffs, uh, so we went 4-0 in the in-season tournament, so let's see where we are in the actual bracket, we are the one seed in the East, we're going up against the Pistons in the first game, so that is the game we are going to simcast, uh, we just lost to them on the 27th, but we are really good to start off this season. Detroit, Chicago, won four seeds in the in-season tournament. Let's see. Oh, the Bulls are off to a huge start. The Pistons, though, are fighting back. That second quarter was not nice to us. Um, It's a six-point game, and now it is back and forth. Oh, we're up by 10, up by 11, and your Chicago Bulls are moving on to round two of the in-season tournament. Lewis Ward leaves us, leads us with 20. Patrick Williams, 18. Uh, Kawhi had 15 on good efficiency. And then Caden uh, Asora played fantastic. But we are moving on. We are facing the Charlotte Hornets in the next in-season tournament game. Let's see. We have very similar records. I saw they were 14-6. and six. We're 15-7. and seven. The Bulls were off to a good start. And it's continuing. We're blowing them out. They came back, though. Oh, they came back. One-point game. Two-point game. We're up by three. We're up by five. Can we do it? Two-point game. Four-point game. Three points. And we're going to do it. We're going to sneak away with the win. Lewis Ward again with 27. It's not enough. And who will we be going up against? We will be facing the Clippers. The LA Clippers were the 14th seed. This, oh yeah, they signed Mitchell in free agency. This team made it all the way to the championship round of the in-season tournament. Really, they won their bracket too. They won their group somehow as the 14th seed. How in the hell did that happen? I don't want. I hate this menu. I don't know if it's just me. This menu sucks. Um. Wow, where were they? What group are they in? They went three and one. I don't know how. See, 2K is weird. The tiebreakers for the in-season tournament make no sense. The Thunder should have made it over the Clippers because of the four-point differential, but they, for some reason, didn't. But the Clippers... No, no, I didn't want to sim through, but we end up winning. Uh, we lose a con group, but the Chicago Bulls... It went to OT wide, I sim... The Chicago Bulls are your in-season tournament champions. That's nice. That's a nice little touch of the season. Wait. Oh, my God. Donovan Mitchell in that game suffered a fractured leg and is out for the year. They just signed him. Oh, my goodness. He's having an amazing year. One of his best years of his career. And he goes down with a fractured leg. That's awful. Oh, that's awful. In the in-season tournament, that makes sense. He played 32 minutes. He must have got injured right at the end. That sucks for the Clippers. They, yeah, they're, they might be the worst team in the league now. 
this team is rough. But your Bulls are the in-season tournament champions. That's awesome. We didn't lose a single game in the group play or the actual tournament itself. So that's the title of this video, in-season tournament champions, baby. So uh, let's simulate to this um, Cavs game on Christmas Day. Um, right now, this team, we're the first seed, so I don't think we'll make any trades. If we do, there'll be small ones. Um, as we are 18 and 8, still chilling at that first seed. Uh, are we going to drop? Yeah, we dropped two to the Orlando Magic. That drops us down to the second seed. We're going to lose three in a row. Uh, no, I'm not trading Okongu. He's not untouchable, but he's damn close to it. Uh, we're one and four in our last five. That's tough. That's real tough. What we do beat the Bucks. We fell down to the three seed as simulation is taking a big dip. We beat the Hornets again. We're here on Christmas Day. 21 and 11. You got the three, the two seeded Bulls going up against the four seeded Cavaliers on Christmas. Let's see how the team is doing up to this point of the season. Lewis Ward is turning into an all star baby. 22.6 rebounds, five assists, and a seal on 50, 47, 87. This dude is a stud. He is an absolute stud. He could be an all star and most improved, possibly. Uh, Okongu is having his best season. Three straight years, he's only gotten better. 17 points, 10 rebounds, a steal, and a block. He still hasn't reached his two blocks that he had in his first year here. But he's playing amazing. I wonder where his three-point shot is at. Still out of 62. Yeah, so we'll keep on without shooting it. Lonzo Ball is having his best season of his career. 16 points, 4.5 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 steals on amazing efficiency. Kobe White off the bench. Not shooting a three-ball well, but still giving us 15 a game. Kawhi's giving us 15 and 4 and 4. He's doing it efficiently. So I'm not mad at his scoring dip. I did lower his tendencies and his minutes um, due to his age and due to Lewis Ward. I want him to have more of an opportunity. So that makes sense because if you see his per 36, he would be averaging 20 points a game. He would 20 points, 5, 5, and 2. That's nearly all-star numbers. Uh, so his 15 points a game, I'm not too worried about. Uh, Patrick Williams, God, am I glad I didn't trade him. This is off the bench, I think. 13 um 13 points four rebounds 48 percent from the field 48 percent from three and about the same amount of minutes as last season on 162 wow he's having an unbelievable season um okay maybe patrick williams is starting over yeah he is starting over trey murphy i think uh nine points a game on great shooting for trey murphy yeah there's like no one on this team that i think is playing yeah he is starting all right yeah he's deserving this starting spot because his efficiency is through the roof um there's no one on this team that is underperforming besides dale and terry i mean we might he's 77 overall 23 years old uh, he's on the last year of his deal so he probably will be the piece we trade um because he's just not fitting with this team at all at that power forward position we might move him over to small forward and trade him while we can they get a true maybe maybe we package him and wood together get a true backup center because wood's okay but i don't really know how he fits with this team but for now let's simulate this christmas game we end up losing by 14 that's a tough tough loss to darius garland Struess, and the cavaliers i'm going to simulate to where's the all-star draft it's all the way over here i'm going to simulate past the all-star draft see if we have any all-stars then i'm going to field offers for terry all right we've made it to the draft um do you wish to stop simulation yes i want to see if we have any all-stars let's start to draft auto draft we do not get any all-stars as the third seed lebron james is here again he's only averaging 18 points a game honestly i don't know how lewis ward well we won't have taken lebron's bodies on the rockets but damn that sucks brandon miller is the first time all-star he's averaging 28 points a game uh kate cunningham's a first time all-star Let's see, who over here, I want to see the East players. So, I don't think Lewis Ward would have been a starter. Um, for But for East players, Trey Young, if Lewis Ward kept up his stat, well, he's a guard. No, Lewis Ward is a guard. Lewis Ward might be putting up better stats than this. So, I mean, even then, he's not putting up better stats than KK. Well, arguably, yes. Um, he's not going to be putting up better stats than Tyrese Halliburton. He's definitely playing better than Jalen Brown. Yeah, I think Lewis Ward got snubbed hard. Let's go see his actual stats. He is averaging 22 points a game, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal and a half on 50, 40, 85. How did this man not 
get become an all-star like how is that even possible that is insane to me how that man is not an all-star over players like let's over garland definitely deserves it um trey young he deserves it over trey young he's averaging more points more rebounds more steals better efficiency than trey young um who else are we who else is here um oh we have to go to the other team uh for team Giannis or who team luke i mean he's uh playing better than not tatum he ain't playing better than tatum he's playing better than butler but butler's a forward um he's playing better he's averaging more points than brown more rebounds more assists almost the same steals on better efficiency than brown he yeah he deserved it over I could see, I guess Cunningham's averaging more points, but yeah, he deserved it over Brown. He deserved it over, um, I already forgot who the hell it was, Trey Young. So that's a huge snub. But regardless, we are currently on a nine game win streak. We're at half a game out of the two seed. The Hornets kind of got that one seed locked up. Uh, let's look at the award races real quick. See if we got anyone in those. Um, it ain't looking like it. I ain't gonna lie. Zach Levine's a six man now. I uh, don't know why. Um, he, but he, he is a six man. But yeah, we have no one. Lewis Ward is in the most improved race, but he's probably not going to end up winning it. Why is Zach Levine a six man? Are the Heat good? They're the eighth seed. Uh, oh, they're starting Hero. They have this guy at starting point guard. He's not playing bad, but I might move Hero or Levine to their point guard just so they um, are running their best lineup. But for now, I'll keep it as is. They got Bull Bull running their center position. Ame starting. So, yeah, we're currently a three seed. I think I'm going to look at offers for Dalen Terry right now because uh, there's no need for him to be here. He's starting to play a little bit better. But like I said, one year deal, 23 years old. I know he's really happy, but he could be playing a, a whole lot better somewhere else. Oche, he's solid. I think I'm going to pack package Dalen Terry with a Christian Woods contract most likely and see what we can get. Oh crap, Kobe White's on the last year of his deal. He might want a decent amount of money. We, we might have to look at possibly moving on from him. I don't want to, but there is a chance. So we're going to package Terry and Christian Wood. That's going to make up about 12, 13 mil. And we're going to see what offers we got here. Vucevic, not for that money. Gordon Hayward's back on the Celtics. Kelly, Kelly Oubre would be solid as another scorer off the bench, but we are already the second best offensive team in the league like Jaden Hardy another guy he's averaging 19 a game I don't think I want to find a team where he will be you know used properly like I'm going to move him back to the small forward he's an 80 overall I'm going to go through seeing teams that are selling um or rebuilding I don't know why we're rebuilding um that is would need a small forward for like Dalen Terry like the Clippers are a great option, uh, even though they do have Mitchell, but they are struggling. Um, this Hawks team probably not an option. They still got Hunter. Uh, the Heat are buying, and they have Hame, but they probably could use some more depth. And I mean, Dalen Terry does help that. Uh, the Lakers are rebuilding, and we know I wanted AD pretty badly. I also don't want to blow up this team for him. I feel like we can win the championship without him. They have the fourth seed. I don't know why they're rebuilding. Same thing with the Magic. But right now, I'm only seeing very I'm seeing very little teams that are in need of someone like Dale and Terry. I mean, the Blazers actually might be a really, really good spot for him. They got Matisse Thibel starting. So they could use him there. They got Chris Boucher starting too. At the power forward they could and they're the third seed i think the blazers are the first team we're gonna try to send them to their young team they could use a guy like dale and terry on their roster he's on a one-year deal um we can see if we can get maybe a future pick yeah this trade might not work because they don't have the money they don't have the money for that um they got wiggins but they also they're negative 53 mil um under the cap i really want to see him go to a place where he'll start and thrive the clippers might be that place i think it's gonna be a team like the clippers or the heat i already made a trade with the heat so i'm not gonna make another one 
you know what this we could make something work here we could kind of have a Jalen Terry buys Harris deal going on here buys on a one-year deal they don't need him they're clearly rebuilding now uh with Donovan Mitchell going down can we get a pick out of it too your 2027 pick nope can we get this heat pick this heat pick could be pretty valuable let's see they have a counter offer they want that Knicks pick I'm not gonna give you that Knicks pick it's just not happening I'm sorry that pick is too I didn't even know that pick was that valuable the Knicks are yeah the Knicks are actually pretty bad that we could get someone pretty good I'm not gonna lie they want Ed Edwards they'll give us Jay Sean Tate yeah you know what I think I'm gonna do this trade I'm gonna be sending Dale and Terry 2026 first round pick and Ed Edwards our rookie uh drafted with the 12th pick um to the Clippers for Tobias Harris 2028 first round pick from Miami and Jay Sean Tate you got yourself a deal bringing Tobias for more depth um another scorer off the bench for us he is power forward right yes he is a backup power forward so uh we traded him for someone who can actually play that power forward position not bad you know what I think that trade makes us a little bit better especially offensively it hurts our defense a bit because Tobias ain't the best defender but he's playing pretty solid this season so i do indeed like that trade now i don't think he'll get a lot of minutes on this team um i still think we should try and move on from christian wood because i like running our 10 man because we don't got many other bigs like we don't have another center on this team that could run those minutes but i'd prefer more of a defensive oriented center and i think i'm gonna do this trade for De'Aaron sharp uh we got a 21 year old out of this small forward that we can try and develop but the Aaron sharp he's 24 years old he's on a two-year contract he's more defensive oriented um and i mean it just seems better over the 30 year old christian wood who's playing over all right but actually it's per 36 is insane but we don't need that offense i prefer more defense off that bench so yes we will definitely do that trade and i'm gonna go fix our lineups all right, I think this is where we're going to go with. Um, I took some minutes away from Kawhi. He's only playing 24 now because he is tired. He's 34 years old. I'm going to treat him like he's 34 years old. Um, and I gave Tobias 17 minutes. Oche went down to 14 minutes. Uh, Sharps getting the same minutes Christian Wood got. And Trey Murphy went down a minute. And Kobe White went down a minute. So our team is very, very, very balanced. Um, system efficiency i shouldn't change yet it's at four and a half stars at balance so yeah let's let's keep it at that and this team's ready to make a run let's trade or trade simulate through uh the trade deadline or up until all-star weekend and uh we will be all set we win our first game with our new team trade deadlines right there would you like to start simulating no beat the spurs we keep our one streak alive it's at 11 it's at 12 can we keep it and we lose to the one seated hornets to end the streak and then we lose to the bucks that's tough that is tough still sitting at that three seed pretty pretty solid there but that's gonna do it for me leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new don't miss next episode where we will be in the playoffs trying to make that championship run because once we went to championship that might be where the series ends i might do an extra season after that i don't know because the end goal is a championship anyways that's it for me GG.